Hello, Wanderlust Warriors. Welcome back to the Digital Nomad Channel, your one-stop guide to sustainable and budget-friendly nomadic living. Today, we're exploring eco-friendly practices that seamlessly blend with your nomadic lifestyle and budget. Navigating the globe doesn't mean you have to leave a carbon footprint. With smart, sustainable choices, we can respect our planet without breaking the bank. So before we stride ahead, remember to hit that subscribe button and stay updated with our latest content. Now are you ready to dive into the world of green nomadic living? Hang tight! First things first, green travel. Now you might be thinking, isn't that an oxymoron? But trust us, it's not. Green travel is all about making conscious choices that minimize our impact on the environment. It's about choosing public transport over private vehicles carpooling over solo drives, and cycling or walking over motorized transportation. It's not just about reducing your carbon footprint, it's also a great way to save some bucks. Public transport, for instance, is usually cheaper than owning and maintaining a car. Carpooling, an excellent way to split fuel costs, and cycling or walking, absolutely free. But it's not just about the money, it's about enjoying the journey, not just reaching the destination. It's about making friends in a shared ride or appreciating the beauty of your surroundings while cycling. So, next time you plan to move, consider these green travel options. Your wallet and mother nature will thank you. Moving on to our next point, accommodation. Yes, you can be eco-friendly even when you're choosing a place to crash. Let's explore some options that not only lighten the load on your wallet but also on our planet. First, consider eco-hostels. These are hostels committed to sustainable practices like solar energy, recycling, and water conservation. They're a great way to meet like-minded travelers and they're often cheaper than traditional hotels. Next, there's camping. This puts you right in the heart of nature, reducing your carbon footprint and connecting you more closely to the great outdoors. Another option is home exchanges. This is where you swap homes with someone else for a period of time. It's a win-win situation as no additional resources are used for your stay and it's usually free. These are just a few examples of how you can make sustainable choices, even in your accommodation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're finding these tips helpful. Let's continue on our journey towards sustainable nomadic living. Let's talk about one of the most important aspects of sustainable living, responsible consumption. As digital nomads, we often live out of our suitcases, this lifestyle, in essence, aligns with the concept of minimalism. It's about owning less and making each item count. When we buy local, we not only support local economies, but also reduce our carbon footprint by avoiding long shipping distances. It's a win-win. And hey, it's always more exciting to own something that tells a story from a faraway place, isn't it? Reducing waste and reusing items is another cornerstone of responsible consumption. Think about it, why buy a new water bottle in each city when you can carry a reusable one? Not only does it help our planet, but it also saves us money in the long run. So let's strive to make conscious choices, whether it's about what we buy, where we buy from, or how we use and reuse. Remember, every small step counts when it comes to responsible consumption. We've covered quite a bit of ground today, haven't we? But before we wrap up, here's a quick recap. We've taken a deep dive into the world of green travel, exploring how we can reduce our carbon footprint while satisfying our wanderlust. We've looked at how choosing sustainable accommodation options can not only save us money, but also help us contribute to local economies and protect the environment. We've discussed responsible consumption, highlighting how mindful shopping, eating, and waste management can make a significant difference in our environmental impact. We've also touched upon how digital nomads like us can lead a sustainable lifestyle without breaking the bank. The key takeaway from our conversation is this. Being a digital nomad doesn't mean you can't be eco-friendly. In fact, it's quite the opposite. The digital nomad lifestyle offers us unique opportunities to live sustainably, all while exploring the world and enjoying the freedom of remote work. So. If you found these insights valuable and are eager to learn more about sustainable and budget-friendly nomad living, remember to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications for our future content. Thank you for joining us today on this green journey. Remember, the world is your oyster, but it's also your responsibility. 
Until next time, this is Digital Nomad, signing off.